हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू न्यू वीडियो फ्रॉम टैलेंट बैटल एज प्रीवियसली वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ वीडियो अबाउट सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर एल एन टी इन्फोटेक वी वी आर गेटिंग मेनी रिक्वेस्ट अबाउट क्रिएटिंग अ स्पेशल वीडियो अबाउट प्रीवियसली आस्क क्वेश्चन ऑफ एल एन टी इन्फोटेक सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो फ्रॉम एल एन टी इन्फोटेक प्रीवियसली आस्क क्वेश्चन सीरीज वील बी अपलोडिंग मोर वीडियोज ऑन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एंड वर्बल एबिलिटी एज वेल Before starting with the questions, I would like to tell you if you have not joined our WhatsApp and Telegram group yet, make sure you are joining it. Or there is any news about campus placement, you will get quick update in our Telegram as well as WhatsApp group. The links to join both the groups are in the description box. We have also launched L N T Infotech Master Class. The live sessions are going to start from today. L N T Infotech Master Class is combination of live classes as well as recorded classes. You will get recordings of all the session in case you miss any session. I have added the link of L N T Infotech Master Class as well in the description box. In case if you have not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, make sure you are doing that and do click on the bell icon to get notifications. Now let's start with the questions. Three years back, a father was twenty-four years older than his son. At present, the father is five times as old as the son. How old will the son be three years from now? Let the present age of the father be F and that of the son be S. Now, three years back. Uh, now, presently, what is the relation? F would be equal to five times S. This is the relation. Now, three years back. Let us go three years back. What is the age of father? F minus three. What is the age of son? S minus three. But what they have given three years back. father was 24 years older than his son so 24 years older than his son son's age plus 24 years so f is what 5s i'll put 5s over here minus 3 would be equal to s minus 3 plus 24 so minus 3 minus 3 gets cancelled 5s minus s is 4s would be equal to 24 son's present age comes out to be 6 years how old will the son be 3 years from now This is the present age of the son. Okay, three years from now, the age of the son would be nine years. So answer is option B. A number when divided by a divisor leaves a remainder of twenty-five. When twice the original number is divided by the same divisor, the remainder is eleven. What is the value of the divisor? Now let us see how we uh, do division. Okay, now this is the dividend. Okay, this is the dividend. Then this is the divisor. This is the quotient, and whatever on certain whatever is there, this part is the remainder. Okay, this part is the remainder. Now let us assume that the divisor is d, and the quotient is x, and let the number which is getting divided be a. Dividend is a. Dividend would be what? The quotient multiplied by divisor plus the remainder r. Okay. So what do we get? A is equal to x d plus r. Now what is the remainder over here? Now a a number which is nothing but a divided by divisor. Divisor is d. You get the quotient x. We don't know what x is, so let it be like that. Leaves a remainder of twenty five. So what do we have? A when divided by d gives a quotient x plus twenty five remainder. Okay. Now when twice the original number. 2a is divided by the divisor okay that is 2a is divided by d 2 times xd plus 25 is divided by d xd plus 25 is divided by d open the bracket 2xd plus 50 is divided by d okay that gives me 2xd upon d plus 50 upon d now in this This is completely divis divisible by the divisor because d and d gets cancelled. Okay, so you get the quotient as two x. So this will never give you remainder. Remainder is obtained over here. Fifty divided by something gives the remainder as eleven, as they have shown. Okay, so what should be the divisor only when the divisor d is thirty nine? Okay, then only divide fifty by thirty nine. You get thirty nine ones are thirty nine. Okay, and remainder comes out to be eleven. so only in case of 39 as the divisor remainder comes out to be 11 so the divisor what is the value of the divisor it has to be 39 option b a b and c each of them working alone can complete a job in 10 12 and 15 days respectively if all three of them work together to complete a job and earn rupees 6000 what will be c's share of the earnings actually very easy 
A can complete the entire work in 10 days. So in one day, amount of work done by A is just invert this 1 by 10. B completes the entire work in 12 days. So in one day, amount of work done by B is 1 by 12 and amount of work done by C in one day is 1 by 15. These are one day works. Okay. One day works of all of these, all the three people. Now always remember the total work done by them. Total work, ratio of total work like of A is to B is to C. Ratio of total work of A, B and C will always be equal to the ratio of their one day, one day work. Ratio of one day work. You can check out later on. this. But this is the relation which holds true. This is common sense relation. If in one day, I will give you an example why. Say if both, all of them are working for 5 days. So A will complete 5 by 10 amount of work. B will complete 5 by 12 amount of work. And C will complete 5 by 15 amount of work in 5 days. So if you take the ratio, you will still get the ratio of this. If you take the ratio of 5 by 10, 5 by 12 and 5 by 15, you will still get the ratio as 1 by 12, uh, 1 by 10, 1 by 12 and 1 by 15. The ratio would be same as this. Okay. If you try to take the ratio. So all of them have done the work. Work done by A, B and C or A is to B is to C is given by work done. Ratio of the work done by A, B and C is 1 by 10, 1 by 12 and 1 by 15. And you know common sense that more amount of work you do, more work, more salary, okay, more wages. So what should be the amount of salary which C gets? What So share of salary or what we say ratio of salary or wages should be the same as the amount of work done, okay. Uh, this is E, 1 by 10 is to 1 by 12 is to 1 by 15. This is the part of C. Correct ratio of wages of A is to B is to C. This is the part uh, corresponding to C. So what is the share of C? Very easy. Like partnership, you can use the formula. Share of C would be 1 by 15 upon add all the three ratios. Uh, not ratios, all the three uh, fractions into total uh, wage or the salary that they get is 6000. Okay. So now over here LCM of this is 1 by 15. LCM of this is 60 of all the three numbers. So 10, 6 are 12, 5 are 15, 4 are into 6,000, right? So what we get over here is 15, 1 are 15, 4 are. That comes out to be 4 upon 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 5 is 15 into 6,000. 15 into 4, 400. Share comes out to be 1,600 rupees. That is option B. Two trains of length 125 meters and 175 meters cross each other in 12 seconds. If the speed of one of the trains is 40 kilometers per hour, what is the speed of the other train? Now, this is very easy. Both the trains are moving. Both are moving. Since both of them are moving, we instead of normal speed, we will be considering relative speed. Okay. Now, relative speed. How to calculate relative speed? First, we have to know whether both the, both the trains are moving in opposite direction or they are moving in same direction. That we don't know. So, for now, we will just consider relative speed. Okay. We will not consider the direction. So formula remains same. The speed is equal to distance upon time. Now over here instead of speed it would be relative speed. Okay. So what is the distance covered? That is the length addition of lengths of trains. That is 125 plus 175 is 300 meters. And what is the time taken? 12 seconds. So this relative speed comes out to be 300 by 12 meters per second. But we want the answer in kilometers per hour. Convert it into kilometers per hour by multiplying by 18 by 5. So what do we get is 6 3s are 6 2s are. So 5 into 60 this is 30 that comes out to be 90 kilometers per hour. Now the relative speed is 90 kilometers per hour. Okay. If they are moving in opposite direction the speeds add. So if one is 40 other is x it would be 40 plus x would be equal to 90 and x comes out to be uh, 50 50 kilometers per hour. So that is option D. Okay. But it might happen that both are moving in the same direction. In that case, if one is 40, other is x, okay, it should be 40 minus x would be equal to 90. So, or x minus 40 equal to 90. Now, why I did x minus 40 equal to 90? Because here we want the speed 90, which is greater than 40. So, this number has to be greater than 40. So, by this, we'll get a negative answer. So, x comes out to be 130 kilometers per hour, but it is not there in the option. So, this gets cancelled out, okay correct answer is 50 kilometers per hour option D.
in how many ways can eight letters be posted in four post boxes if any number of letters can be posted in all of the four post boxes now over here we want to find out how many number of ways are there in which eight letters can be posted okay it's very easy take the first letter okay take the first letter now how many post boxes are there four so first letter can be posted in four ways correct so second letter can be posted in how many ways again four ways third letter again four post boxes are there so four ways so in total if you take a look each of the letter can be even the eighth letter can be posted in four ways so in total the total number of ways are four into four into four into up to up to eighth letter that is four raised to eight ways that comes out to be option b there are two different blue toys three different green toys four different red toys in how many ways one can choose three toys such that there is at least one green toy and one blue toy in the chosen three so now three toys have to be chosen and in that there has to be at least one green and one blue toy so what are the possible combinations either you can choose first a blue one then a green one green either you can choose blue green and red okay or that is plus sign you can choose blue green and blue or you can choose blue green and green so let's try to find out the number of ways this is a since we have to select okay we want to choose select so we have to use the combination formula so combination formula ncr would be equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial right so choose one blue toy how many blue toys are there two so out of two i want to choose one blue toy okay out of three green i want to choose one green toy and out of four red i want to choose one red toy plus blue green and blue out of two blue uh, what do we say two blue toys i have to choose two blue toys and out of three green toys i have to choose one or out of two blue toys i have to choose one and out of and out of three uh, no uh, three green toys i have to choose two green toys and means multiplication or means plus sign so now here what you will have is two factorial upon one factorial into one factorial into three factorial upon three minus one is two factorial two factorial into one factorial into four factorial upon three factorial into one factorial plus two factorial upon two factorial into zero factorial into three factorial upon two factorial into one factorial plus 2 factorial upon 1 factorial into 1 factorial and 3 factorial upon 2 factorial into 1 factorial so what do we have over here is 2 gets cancelled out so 3 gets cancelled out and 4 factorial is 24 plus how 4 factorial is 24 it is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 4 3 is a 12 12 2 is a 24 then over here 2 factorial gets cancelled out 3 factorial is 6 6 divided by 2 factorial is 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus over here 2 gets cancelled out 3 factorial is 6 so 20 30 33 ways is the answer that comes out to be option d in what ratio should 20 percent methyl alcohol solution be mixed with 50 percent methyl alcohol solution so that the resultant solution has 40 percent methyl alcohol in it very easy sum 20 percent methyl alcohol solution and 50 percent methyl alcohol solution has to be mixed to get 40 percent methyl alcohol solution 50 is greater than 40 so 50 minus 40 and 40 is greater than 20 so 40 minus 20 50 minus 40 comes out to be 10 and 40 minus 20 comes out to be 20 so it has to be mixed in 1 is to 2 ratio this is nothing but the concentration or the price and this is the ratio of the quantities okay that has to be mixed so 1 is to 2 is the answer option b the difference between the compound interest and simple interest on a certain sum at 10% per annum for 2 years is rupees 90. What will be the value of the amount at the end of 3 years assuming simple interest? Now there is a direct formula for difference between compound interest and simple interest for 2 years. Okay, For 2 years, this is specifically for 2 years. Remember the formula, it will make your life very easy. The difference will be given by principal amount into r square upon 100 square. Okay this is also written sometimes like this upon 100 the whole square it is the same thing okay so what the difference is given up to be 90 
the principal amount we don't know rate of interest is 10 percent that is 100 is the 10 square and then we have is 100 into 100 this gets cancelled and principal amount comes out to be 9000 rupees if this is the principal amount what we have to find out is the simple interest at the end of three years simple interest is what p n r upon 100 so that comes out to be 9000 into 3 into 100, uh, rate of interest is 10 percent divided by 100 this gets cancelled out so what we have is 2700 rupees as the simple interest okay so what will be the value of the amount it would be 9000 rupees is the principal amount plus the interest 2700 that comes out to be 11700 option c the average monthly salary of 10 workers and two managers in a company was rupees 18000 when one of the managers whose salary was rupees 24000 was replaced with a new manager the average salary of the team went up to rupees 19000 what is the salary of the new manager now there are 10 workers and two managers okay so there are in total 12 people what is the average salary of these 12 people 18000 correct right now one person was replaced replaced what is written over here replaced what was the salary of that person 24000 okay this manager was replaced if the after replacement also how many people are there 12 people same if the new manager who is there if his salary is 24000 itself will the average change no it will remain same 18000 but over here the average has increased to 19000 that is 1000 has increased whenever average is increasing that means every person's salary is increasing by so if the average is increasing by 1000 that means every person's salary has increased by 1000 okay so now for 12 people now also there are 12 people for 12 people what will be the increase it would be 12000 rupees for every average increased by 1000 rupees that means every person's salary has increased by 1000 rupees so for 12 people how much is the increase 12000 rupees who will bring in this 12000 rupees who will bring in this 12000 rupees because of whom will this increase happen it is because of the salary of the new manager if the salary of the new manager is same 24000 there will be no increase but if the salary of the new manager is greater than 24000 there will be a increase of 1000 okay so how much greater should be the new manager salary it should be take a look over here new manager salary should be the original 24000 okay so that average does not change and for average to change by 1000 he has to bring in 12000 rupees extra okay then only everyone's salary will be increased by 1000 and average will also come out to be 19000 that is 1000 more so that comes out to be 36000 rupees so answer is option b now there are many numerous ways to solve this sum this is one shortcut way where you can solve instead of using the formula of average and summation right the so answer over here is b 36000 rupees